Hola, Paco! Sir? Mm. <laughs> this is... Why? <laughs> beautiful start. Every time. Just beautiful start. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't even know what Paco's means. And I take Spanish. Hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely don't know what Paco's means, because I don't even take Spanish. <laughs> I can probably, like, count to yeah. five <laughs> and say, hi, how are you? <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> can you say toilet? No, I don't think so. Banyo. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, we have started off smoothly and amazingly, as always. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, world. No, that, that sounds cheesy. <laughs> no, no, that sounds better than Ola Pacos. <laughs> Mm. Uh, uh, do you want to do it? Oh, so shall we start? <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. A month? It's been a month. I feel like it's been more... Yeah, at least a month. Um, before we start... I'm just going to give you all a quick spoiler alert because we're going to be complaining and we will probably spoil the whole book, maybe series. Um, we shall be discussing the book, Uglies. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's mainly we're going to talk about the first book, but uh, Em might spoil the second book because she's read the second book and I haven't. Because I don't want to subject myself to torture. Don't recommend. I, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just a disclaimer. I hate Tally. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we're not professional at all. That should be obvious, so... This is just opinion. It should be really obvious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... All right. I hate Tally. Yeah. I mean, everyone should. So that's it? W why do we hate t Tally? <laughs> Let let's go into the some um, details. <laughs> this is... Wow, we're starting off great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first, she's not a relatable protagonist, and usually you should be able to relate at least somewhat to the protagonist so you feel and, like, can understand why they're doing what they're doing. I couldn't understand what she was doing the exact opposite of whatever I'd do, the whole... Not even the exact opposite, it was just... She was doing the most random things, and she was just acting stupid the whole book. Both books. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't disagree with that, because the first book she's like, Oh, I want a nose jab. Oh, look at my pimples. <laughs> and, like, complaining and stuff. Yeah. And then Shay comes along and she's like, You should feel good about it. I don't know why I gave Shay that <laughs> voice. That was one interesting <laughs> voice for Shay, right there. Yeah, you should... <laughs> Join me! In the place far away, with someone I have a crush on, where we don't get surgery done. And Tally's like, okay! <laughs> <laughs> After a while, and goes. Okay, I... I oh, wait, I'm forgetting. I, I kind of liked Shay, sort of. She was cooler than Tally. And then she kind of left, but like... Then I really didn't like her. She didn't really get any character development. She was just really... Bradish. Her whole character was based off of, oh yes, I like this random dude. He doesn't even know me that well. I just like him. I have a crush on him. And all of a sudden, I tell Tally that she should come with us, and she just... He gets a crush on her. And now they're basically dating. 
and I'm just left alone. So, like, I don't like that kind of character. And horny and angry. <laughs> that gave her no development. Like, I feel like she could have become something, but, like, in the second book as well, she was still angry ish, but her brain was wiped in the second book, so she was just. Mm, she was. She didn't get a good chance at redemption at all. But Tally is still worse. Yeah, honestly. Always. Yeah, she manages to be an okay character simply because her beginning and her s character in the beginning. Someone just texted me her <laughs> that their sister is a stupid. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Wow. Oh god. Um. So, uh. Shay's whole thing is that in the beginning of the book, she's this really, like, strong female who's like, fuck the system, mm. I'm gonna go and be with this boy, and then you figure out that um, she's literally only going to the place because of a boy, and that she's, like, head over heels and all goo goo gaga with him, and it's just... And then she, like, gets mad at Tally. It, that's where I, like start to lose the fact that I like her. Because <laughs> it's just like, really, this again? Yeah, like, she was alright. She knew things that others wouldn't have in the city. And she was awesome. And then... She wasn't, because after she lost the, um... Reason she came there, she was, like, just grouchy all the time, and she... We didn't really see much after that because they all got taken. Because Tally. Oh, yeah, and some of them got killed, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, some of them definitely got killed. I think. Yeah, because the librarian, like, fell down on the mm. floor bleeding. Yeah, I read this a while ago. I read the second book. A bit more recent, but not. Yeah. It, it was a while. Yeah, I think some of. Them yeah, got killed? It was all Tally's fault. Blame everything on Tally. Yeah, she basically <laughs> made a deal with this sciency lady. Like, oh, I'll find the headquarters of... What were they, the normies? Or... What did they call themselves? Hmm. I... <laughs> uh... <laughs> lingo. The lingo from this stupid book is so simple, but I can never it remember was like... it. The outside? No, not the outside. I don't know what they're called. What's the name of the dude, David? Yeah, I think it's- the place is called Smoke. Oh, s the Smokies. Oh, yeah. I still don't know how they didn't find them, because they had fires and everything, and they probably left stuff, like, if you got a, yourself a helicopter, just flew around, you would have found them, because they probably have, like, an open field, they were cutting down trees. And honestly, those, making like... Making smoke. Yeah, and those, what were they, the firefighters? Yeah. What the fuck were the firefighters called? <laughs> Fire... Fire... Were they Fires? specials, no. or were they... Fiery boys. <laughs> I think there were, like, somewhat specials from, like, the d other... Okay, there was the hierarchy of uglies, pretties, specials, and extras. I think they were, like, between pretties and specials. That's when your the brain, like, loses the... Like, you get the cancer-like tumor in your brain that makes you stupid, and then that disappears if you get a job that's like, you, you need to use your brain. The others, they can just- it's basically like a government that's trying to like, have no political political opponents or anything. Yeah, among that kind of brain license thing not making any sense, because what does it do? Like, power down part of your brain or just eat it completely? Like, there's no way for it that it was taken out for you to gain that back if they, like, shut it down. But anyway, among it being, like, completely unrealistic, 
Yeah. Um, yeah, that's just weird. Um, and this is sci-fi as well. I used it for my, like, sci-fi, because, like, you needed to read sci-fi in middle school, I think. And I wanted to see what happens. But she didn't die by the third book, so I was upset. <laughs> yeah, I think she, there's, like, a <laughs> sequel series to Uglies, and in that she, like, forms oh, a no. cult or some shit. It's ridiculous. Oh <laughs> and, like, everything's named after her. She's this big thing. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Um, <sighs> so there was Shay. She had a... I think she went over to the other side. She did something weird after she t turned pretty. And she was, like, cutting herself. And she was, like, part of a blood cult. And I was like, what in the... How does this tie in with the book? I swear to god, he just, the author, Scott Westerfield, I'm calling him the fuck out, just throws in random shit and just, like, calls it a book. Uh, it's it's not cohesive enough. The second book, it was so confusing to me. They also had, uh, they just decided to escape on balloons, like hot air balloons, because that's what they had. I don't know why no one else escaped, but... They managed to escape somehow on hot air balloons. And Tally and who was it? Paris? Was it Paris? What was the dude's name that she was like, Oh yeah, I definitely don't have a crush on him, but like he's a really good friend. Oh yeah, Paris. And I want to become pretty because of him. Paris. So, yeah, Paris. The guy with the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, he's not Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun well, ugly name like hey you're fucking Voldemort like yeah I am bitch mm, fear yes. me and my sparkies I hate JK Rowling anyway <laughs> <laughs> so what did they do Um, they got on hot air balloons she also got a new boyfriend by the way who cares about David anymore David got really, David or really Paris angry at screw with him <laughs> So, I think it was like I think it started like with a Z. It was like Zane or Zay. I don't even know what his name was. I think it was Zane. He's the new boyfriend now. He she loves him, and they're escaping together. She also had she did this thing where his brain got eaten. So that's why they're escaping because he's in a lot of pain. Yeah. I like the idea of him just screaming in agony while she's like, come on, come on, get in the hot air balloon! Yeah, so they had, like, a couple hot air balloons. Um, no. Yeah, I think a couple. And so, that dude, the new boyfriend, jumped out first. And they had hover their hoverboards, because that's what they have. And they were above the river, so they were supposed to get on the hot air balloon, jump out when it's not too high, have the hot air balloon keep traveling so they lose the um, people tracking them because the people are going to go after the hot air balloon and they're going to run away by, on the river. So he jumped out and then she's just arguing with Paris about Paris chickened out last second and he's like, I can't go, you go. And she's like, oh my goodness, but like I came back for you. And so that took too long, she fell out and I think she broke her hoverboard. <laughs> um, broke her hoverboard. And she went... She fell into, like, a village with just a tribe of people who aren't really as civilized. And they don't have, like, their technology of, like, pretties and stuff. What? And it's just... A research lab for like the advanced society to see what would happen if people had to live like that and so they visit them sometimes they're like enclosed in a like a, ra a really strange like their enclosure it ends in like a barrier that gives you a migraine if you try exiting and it like pushes you back in Okay, that's it weird. was really weird. And there was, I think there was, like, dolls on trees next to that barrier. So she was trying to get out. And then it's she ran the into doll the island. Got... <laughs> yes. Uh... Um, 
that was not, that was the, one of the strangest things, uh, like, to put into that book. I feel like, I feel, but I didn't read all the books, so there might have been something stranger than that. She got out using a helicopter. I don't know how she knows how to pilot a helicopter. Like, the research scientist came down to, like, check, check up on the people, and she just, uh, just hijacked the helicopter and it flew away. <laughs> oh, damn. I don't know how she was intelligent enough to do that, but she did. Yeah, Tally's, like, intelligence. Scott Westerfield writes her as though she's, like, really, really intelligent, but half the choices she makes are, like, really, really stupid. So... Like, throwing that pendant into the fire. Like, you wouldn't think that the government decided to have, like, a tracker that activates if it breaks or something. Yeah, like... Or maybe, like, it accidentally activates when you throw it into, like... It's already a tracker. It's, what... it's not going to just stop <laughs> tracking just because you threw it in the fucking fire. Just tell the people they would probably have figured out something. Tell them that you were an imposter and you were gonna kill them all. Like, you have no other reason. Why would you be there? Or, Don't even better, about keep it to yourself and just travel out into a certain place activate the tracker and just yeet it somewhere and then just go back yeah pretend you died actually just put it in a river it will flow off eventually actually why don't you just drown yourself in the ocean that would have been the best <laughs> that would have been the best just yeah uh. just just do that how about you do that it was like so many times that she was like about to die and somehow she didn't die like yeah. She's, for some reason, just jumped over that like weird cliff mm -hmm. when she was traveling there, and her hoverboard gave out. But somehow she survived, and I was like, "How? Yeah. How did she do this?" I don't. She's literally a Mary Sue. She, she's incredibly overpowered. Basically, dodges death. Is treated like a fucking god in this series, and. Mm -hmm. doesn't experience any real consequences or remorse for her actions. Like, ugh. God. Like, all that mattered to her was, first, she wanted to go with Paris. And then all that matters to her was David. And then all of a sudden she forgets David. And all that matters to her is this new dude. Oh yeah, she's got she the emotional. Almost killed. She's got the emotional <laughs> consistency of a potato. <clears throat> I don't even. That doesn't even make any she needs sense. Help. <laughs> she needs help. Just the whole plot is based off of like useless romance, and I don't really like. A sci-fi revolving around that. I mean, yes, a lot of things revolve around that, but it's either love or war. I'd rather have war in this kind of book. Yeah, honestly. Romance is generally not something I'm interested in books, mm. unless it's, like, a really good romance. And by that I mean... Like that it makes sense. Yeah, like... Or it's LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, or both, that's the best combination right there. Yeah, like, you read a demon book that was really strange, but the romance was nice. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the demon, he, he wasn't nice, but, like, the... Yeah, the other couple was nice. I only got halfway, so I'm hoping they, they lived happily ever after. <laughs> that probably didn't happen, but I hope they did. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what's a good example of a good romance in a book? Uh, all right. Definitely not Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's let's do the research. I'm gonna name something that probably well, uh, um, you don't know about this series, but someone out there <laughs> might. More than meets the eye, Transformers. It's a comic book um, series. Uh, basically, I give you an overview of what will happen but you have to read the mm. series because it's great and I love it. Basically, um, <laughs> uh, this Autobot... Oh, the war between the Decepticons <laughs> and Autobots is over. But they have discovered this, like, map 
to these prophesized Knights of Cybertron, and they think that's going to make everything better since Cybertron has reverted itself to its um, primitive form. Uh, and they want the Knights of Cybertron to come back so that uh, it'll fix itself, and also they'll actually have an idea of who, who's going to lead who. Uh, because basically what's happened is Autobots and Neutrals are basically fighting about who should... Um, about what they should do with Cybertron, and the Decepticons are just kind of in a pit. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this guy named Rodimus, who's his own set of problems, uh, basically is like, hey everyone, come onto my ship called the Lost Light, and we'll go and find those Knights of Cybertron. So, uh, that's what they go and do, and it's a bunch of stuff. And a lot of stuff happens, and you go attached to these characters, and then they mm. die, because goddammit. <laughs> uh, mm. Not all of them die, but, like, you'll get favorite characters who will just, like, <laughs> die. Oof. There was one character I wasn't even that attached to, he just got fucking smushed by another one. Literally got <laughs> stomped on. It was so horrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. Um. Oh yeah, another one got his head eaten off. Uh, the gore is not that bad. <laughs> uh, also, a lot of LGBTQ relationships in there, but the romance is very, it's put in in a way that it feels natural and um, just, like, real. It's a healthy relationship. Yeah, and, like, they struggle, but it's healthy. This book does it's not, not like, have that. Oh, I love you and done. It's just... That the whole book, I love you. Like, you should have a reason. Not just, I love you. But that I love you because you're hot. Anything. Like, a lot of those... I don't, think, yeah, she did, I don't think she even... She was, like, talking about how she didn't even find him attractive. Oh, yeah, that too. That was funny. Like, bitch, you ugly as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was discussing... What was, what was it? Like, his nose? Oh, yeah, his nose. <laughs> And a square jaw or something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Um, like, right before I read Uglies, I, I have recorded the books I've read, so... Hmm. There was... I love I don't how you record what these, everything. These books are. Like, you record skins <laughs> you have in Smite. I don't do anything. Oof. <laughs> I just know I have an um, Apollo skin and two Athena skins that both look hideous. Terror at Bottle Creek, I think they had a good romance. So did the Lightning Queen, I think. I thought you said Lightning McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, beautiful romance right there. Yeah, between car and car. That's such a beep, weird beep. movie. <laughs> God. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think Pegasus, the series by Kate O'Hearan, I think that one had a good romance. Is that the one like, with Star? It actually made sense. The black foal with like a white star on no. his? No. No. What am I thinking this is of? Just, I think you were thinking about like, this is from like the perspective. That one is from the perspective of the horses. I'm talking about, um... This is the same one that wrote the Valkyrie books. Oh, yes, Valkyrie, she also had a, oh, good, yeah. a good romance in there, too. I need to finish reading that, that last actually made series sense. book. Yeah, that one was actually... That was a really well-written... Because the female character isn't a bitch, and isn't terrible, and actually relatable, and the characters yeah. are adorable... And I love Loki, and he's in there, and so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> they were—they actually wrote Norse mythology well. I mean, it's like really loosely built on Norse mythology, but it was like, yeah. Where are the male Valkyries? Like, there has to be like male Valkyries in that book. So that was good. That was well written. Um, just the whole series, I like that. Yeah. It's really underrated. Read it. And yeah. I don't even read, don't read books that much. Read that. <laughs> um, yeah, just anything by that author. She 
wrote really good books, I think. The Pegasus series, it kind of was stretched out, but I, that one was also, I feel, I read some of them, I think half the series at least. That one was also good, but it was kind of confusing. I feel like I should be making a list. <laughs> um, yeah, War of the Realms and just all the Valkyrie books. You understood why they had a relationship, because, like, kind of liked each other. I mean, they were attracted to each other, like, physically, but they also met each other and they helped each other out. And, like, she, she needed help, because she didn't know much about humans, and he was a human, <laughs> so they helped each other. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about that book right now. Um, I think what we're trying to get at is that the attraction in this book is like, I like you, but no other reasons. While in other books, mm -hmm. it's like, I like you because you're sweet, you like, protect me, you're just actually a good person when you're around me. Like, stuff like that, where it's actual real life yeah. feelings and reasons why people get together. Like, that is, like, being attracted is a reason, but that's the worst reason I think possible. Because, like, you don't know if you're, like, compatible in any way, like, emotionally. Like, do you even like the person how for who they are? Yeah, like, just attraction is, like, enough <laughs> for a first date or a one-night stand. You gotta go a little bit yeah. further for an actual relationship. And, like, you can't base a whole book around that, like... No. Not how it works. Yeah. And romance... With romance, if you're gonna not make it the focal point of your book, you have to make it so that it doesn't become the focal point. Oftentimes, yeah. the relationship became the focal point. And then I realize, oh, wait, we still have that plot thing. Hmm, <laughs> yes. The plot exists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't really think of any book that was, like, could compare to be that. It was, I can't compare any books to Uglies. Uglies was just the worst. Like, I think Uglies and Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> Romeo and Juliet is even, like, it's a bit higher on the scale. If you can't tell, we don't like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet is terrible. Yeah, it's just... Like, Ugh. stop worshipping Shakespeare. Shakespeare died, Shakespeare wrote, and we don't care anymore. He wrote a lot of words, but, like, shouldn't we stop worshipping him and move on and write... Maybe we probably need new words now. <laughs> So how about someone does that and stop talking about Romeo and Juliet? Because oh, quick that wasn't side sweet track, at all. they all died. <laughs> quick side track. I actually have like a sheet somewhere uh, from last year in my English class. We, uh, my mm. teacher gave us a sheet, and she was like, "Here, uh, now pick out randomly three words from these three columns and string them together in a sentence and now you have an insult in Shakespearean. So that was fun. <laughs> oh, you egg! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, yeah, that, that, that's an insult I quote. You saucy boy! <laughs> you saucy boy! <laughs> yeah, just random words. Okay, th that... Those are the only reasons those books should exist. Just for the pure, like, why would you even put this in a- Why would you think- Why would you put Saucy Boy? Why, Shakespeare? William, oh, no! Saucy Boy! <laughs> <laughs> All the good characters died. Well, Romeo and Juliet weren't good, but, like, I meant, like, all the other characters, they died. Yeah, Tybalt was fantastic. Worthless. Cry. Did Paris die in that book? In I Romeo and Juliet? Par no one really liked Paris. He was just... I don't think he died, though. 
Oh. Yeah, he was still going to marry Juliet. Didn't he and Romeo have, like, a, a fight in, like, the death chamber of Juliet? Because he no, was, like, there to been, mourn. Think... Oh, wait, he might have been... Yeah, I think he might have been just stabbed by <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't... I think he might... Yeah, he might have died. Alternative title for Romeo and Juliet. The story of two underaged lovers who are... It's kind of a pedophile a relationship, and it's destructive it to the world around death. them. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, like, a really, really good summary of it. It was just, like, a short relationship between, like, a 12-year-old girl and a 17-year-old boy that killed... I, I forget the numbers. It killed a lot of people. Just a lot. <laughs> And that's what it took to get people to stop feuding. It bl- Families <laughs> should stop arguing. Just stop. Uh, okay, but like, yeah, that relationship shouldn't exist. But I mean, they weren't really going to have anything better if she was going. She was going to marry Paris. Yeah. And Paris, I think it might be older than Romeo. So, yeah. History is messed up. We were supposed to be talking about uglies. We got sidetracked. Anyway. Yeah, a lot. (laughs) Hello, everyone. It's T. Uh, I just wanted to say we had to split this episode up into uh, two parts. So part two will be coming soon. And um, yeah, that's it. (laughs) We're just going to end it here. So bye bye.